The death toll from devastating floods in Europe soared to at least 126, most in western Germany, where emergency responders were frantically searching for missing people. U.S. President Joe Biden offers condolences to visiting German Chancellor Angela Merkel after major floods killed at least 59 people in her country. Take a look. But it is the intensity and the length of these events um, where science, science tells us this is a clear indication um, of uh, climate change. Uh, these uh, are horrible uh, events, the flooding events we see in Germany, the Netherlands, uh, Belgium, uh, Luxembourg. Um, and first of all, of course, our thoughts uh, with the victims, their families and their loved ones. And before I uh, say anything else, Chancellor Merkel, I want to express to you and to uh, the people of Germany my sincere condolences and the condolences of the American people for the devastating loss of life and the destruction due to the flooding over the past 24 hours in Germany and neighboring countries. It's a tragedy, and our heart goes out, our hearts go out to the families who've lost loved ones. Und mein tief empfundenes Beileid gilt allen, die in dieser Katastrophe Angehörige und Freunde verloren haben oder die jetzt noch um Vermisste bangen. Und ich schließe auch die Menschen ein in den Überschwemmungsgebieten von Belgien, Luxemburg und den Niederlanden. Das ist alles Vollwasser. Den Kerl immer bleiben sie auf alles Vollwasser. Passiert gestern in einer Stunde und so. Keine Chance. Alles hoch, Schrank, alles Wohnzimmer, 7, 18 cm Wasser hoch. Und dann alle. Ich habe in 38 Jahren jetzt noch nicht erlebt, dass die Inde über das Ufer getreten ist. Äh, ja, scheinbar hat es dann gestern getan. Pegel war irgendwie Höchststand knapp 4 Meter. Ich glaube, äh, Warnstufe ist 2,70 Meter. Ja, und dann sind wir halt nach Hause geeilt und äh, standen hier schon bis äh, hüfthoch im Wasser. Und über Nacht äh, sind halt noch mal gut 50 cm dazugekommen. Unsuspecting residents were caught completely off guard by the torrent dubbed the flood of death by Germany's top-selling daily build. Streets and houses were submerged in water in some areas while cars were left overturned on soaked streets after floodwaters passed. Some districts were completely cut off from the outside world. Luxembourg and the Netherlands were also hammered by heavy rains, inundating many areas and forcing thousands to be evacuated in the city of Maastricht. In Belgium, the army has been sent to four of the country's ten provinces to help with rescue and evacuations. In Germany's, Germany's hard-hit Arweiler district in Rhineland-Palatinate, several houses collapsed completely, drawing comparisons to the aftermath of a tsunami. The storms have put climate change back at the center of Germany's election campaign ahead of a September 26 parliamentary poll marking the end of Merkel's 16 years in power. Germany must prepare much better in future, Interior Minister Horst Seehofer said, adding that this extreme weather is a consequence of climate change. Because a warmer atmosphere holds